happening. Oh, um, All Points East, another festival that I wanted to quickly mention. Um, I think I heard about this from a mate that went last year. It got a pretty good write-up in Resident Advisor 2. I think Resident Advisor featured it and said it was a really good festival for the most part. Let me see if I can quickly get it up on here. Um, a fest I think it's in Victoria. Is it in Victoria Park? Yeah, Victoria Park. Um, All Points East. Fairly indie um, lineup for the most part of it with a few electronic acts sprinkled in from, from here from time to time. Um, where is it? 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 There we go. All Points East. Um, and for this year, they've announced... Um, so there's an article from um, Resident Advisor. London Festival All Points East adds James Blake, Royce and Murphy to second edition um they're also gonna have peggy goose you know she's gonna be fucking everywhere i'm interested to see again what she does this year i think i mentioned it previously to somebody else um i think she's done amazing harnessing social media and all that sort of malarkey um with her obvious talent because that's something that you know you didn't really see a lot that's why i think there was a lot of um complaints you remember when um Maceo plex and nina kravitz had their thing that they were kind of going back and forth on and you know Maceo plex and a few other djs thought maybe that nina kravitz was getting a little bit more look a little bit more love on on the press side of things because you know she's a drop dead gorgeous woman um then they were right and i remember that kind of transpired off the back of that resident advisor behind the music or behind the scenes video where nina kravitz was in a bath uh was in a bubble bath like it, having an interview talking and shit being all sultry and sexy as she always is um which i thought was quite funny and you know it was quite cool to be honest to kind of see that whole thing i didn't really get a boner from it or anything it didn't really challenge my masculinity but i can see why some male artists probably thought hey you know, we're not sexy beasts, so we can't really afford that luxury. Um, but, you know, I'm just, you know, this is the world we live in. You know, social media um, and the Internet do allow people to kind of marry up things that necessarily wouldn't necessarily work in other ways. You know, sometimes, you know, um, with festivals and that's all I'm lucky in part, especially in a, a, an occupation like a DJ. Um, you know, it is quite visual in that respect, you know, being behind a booth, what you wear, um, the kind of things you do, how you move around behind the booth. And if you if you want to play that game and you are fairly attractive and you, you are a good DJ, it only serves you to kind of harness that and to kind of, you know, quote unquote, exploit it for your own benefit. And Nina Kravitz has done a good job of it. And again, she's a great producer, great DJ. She has an amazing label with great artists on there too. Um, so she's not really the, the point of that whole thing, but... Um, a lot of people were getting uh, annoyed by it. And of course, when Peggy Yu came out, she seemed like another one of those people on that kind of line, right? A fairly uh, a fairly attractive um, Asian lady who wears amazing outfits, has got great sense of style, is um, really good on camera, really charismatic, really charming, um, funny and shit. And um, and she DJs, right? And and she plays vinyl for some time, for the most part sometimes, right? So people are like, oh, this is some like gimmick. But then you hear her play and you're like, no, nah, she's really good. You hear her songs and you're like, no. Nah, She's really good. So um, I'm hoping that she's able to build on it next year because, you know, we've seen with, you know, the Seth Truxler thing happened with him. He's mentioned a few times how, you know, the kind of hype um, kind of derailed his career for a few bit, for a few times. Um, we've kind of seen stuff that's happened with um, Jack Master. Um, he's kind of taken a bit of a hiatus since that thing happened and transpired with him in the festival. We've seen it happen with Dixon, who was voted number one DJ three times in the year. And he kind of said that it kind of maybe got to his head and he had to kind of take a step back and cancel loads of bookings and whatever he, he did to kind of get things back online. Sometimes that stardom, that being put up on a pedestal as a number one person doesn't work for everybody. Um, not everyone can do it. So I'm hoping, hoping that she can kind of ride it out and kind of not slow it down, but maybe kind of make it a bit more manageable for herself and kind of put out more music. Because again, like I said, like I've been playing that um, that song she put out last year for like, you know, basically the whole year. It's one, an amazing song. And whenever she DJs, whenever I see it's mix of sets of hers, I'm always checking them out. I think she's probably one of the best on the scene, regardless of what you may think of her personally. Um, and hoping it can continue. So that'd be cool to see her in Victoria Park. And then um, you've also got Maurice Fulton. You've got Josie Rebel who i know you got geology you got optimo dmx crew and john hopkins so anyway um the all the, the entire lineup is the one that i want to check out right so you've got all points he's here right and put that here on the screen the entire lineup is the one that i want to check out um so friday on the 24th they got the chemical brothers hot chip primal screen john hopkins spiritualized little dragon peggy goo uh royce and murphy danny brown david august lane a little sims blah, blah blah which is quite a cool lineup to overall 
I could probably skip it if I wanted to, but if I wanted to go see, you know, see the Chemical Brothers play live would be quite cool. Hot Chip, I feel like, you know, I've got a bit of a Hot Chip overload, especially in Leighton Wolverstow. One of the guys who used to be in Hot Chip, or it maybe still is, I'm not too sure, keeps using the name Hot Chip DJ to go DJ places around. I'm, I'm sure people have seen it. Um, there's a guy that's always like using the Hot Chip um, name to kind of get himself bookings around town. So I've kind of got a bit... Um, bored of seeing hot chip in general they were you know they were important to me at, you know at a moment in time the early 2000s when they did come around but i'm not sure if i want to see them now but the other lineups are the one that's interesting on saturday the strokes are playing fucking yeah raconteurs interpol right in this is indie heaven johnny ma pocket courts jarvis cocker uh, Courtney Barrett, uh, Conor McCosian, anna calvin bakar the nude party viagra boys that is an incredible lineup incredible and again, hoping there's not many clashes, but I'd, I'd literally see every single one of them people live, one one by one. And on the Sunday, you got Christine and the Queens, you got James Blake, whose you know new album Assumed Form is amazing, really, really breathtaking stuff. You can really tell that James Blake is finally in love. He's not talking about heartbreak anymore. Um, he's in a fucking great place. Some of the wordplay, some of the songwriting is top notch it'll be great to see him play perform live you've got maribu state you've got kamati washington is always kind of a good draw live performance wise beach house hoon uh kurt Vile and the violators princess nokia who's amazing ezra collective toro uh toro Umoy, great album that came out the other day as well uh bob moses andrew reverell one of my favorite djs he used two more someone you know that everyone's kind of like hyping and saying it's going to be a good look i think uh, mixtape or ep last year i haven't listened to that yet joy oberson uh coco uh moxie's playing um octa octa and then the one the second week so it's uh so i think it's two weekends right but not they did they, they didn't um mirror the lineups like uh um, coach did they've got completely different lineup so the next weekend um they managed to get bring me the horizon who just put out a new fo- a new album run the jewels nothing but thieves and idols idols is probably one of my standout bands from last year they're like their album last year um i forgot the name of it what's the album called was so so fucking good man uh let me see here idols what was the album called do, 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 do. uh joy joy as an act of uh of resistance it's fucking amazing really good miss album super heartbreaking the lead singer of, of idols went through a, a couple of um really fucked up situations last year that he kind of spoke on the album and it's a real tearjerker if you listen to the lyrics so i recommend you check it out um amazing 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 live band so uh, they actually performed on um uh what's his name on later with jules holland is it later with jules holland right yeah a, a couple of weeks ago no a few months ago sorry that was a really good live performance so i recommend you check that out and then um again so you got that on friday bringing your eyes around the jewels nothing but thieves idols and then on sunday the second you've got bon Iver, mac demarco um first aid kit um john grant and the tallest man on earth there's been a lot of talk on the forum i've seen about mac demarco needing to take a break supposedly he's performed in some places and he's been getting absolutely smashed out of his face probably taking too many drugs drinking too much so allegedly and um just being a little bit crazy he's always a little bit in- he's always a little bit um what they what, 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 what they call it um in uh improvised what is it called improv when he performs like he's always adding a few little bits and bobs taking a few left and right turns in his performance when he's on stage but supposedly it's gone a little bit too far in the last couple of weeks or last times he performed so everyone's kind of getting a bit nervous for him but he's another one that like loses vert like he's never not on tour man uh mac demarco like i think every festival lineup that i wanted to go to i've always seen him on a lineup which you know is fucking crazy considering the amount of festivals there are but yeah all point east is meant to be a super good festival everyone kind of talks really highly about it um i think there's actually an, a little small review here on resident advisor they kind of mentioned that they said it was really good let me see if i can check it out here yeah here it is all point festival in 2018 um ba 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 Victoria, uh, yeah, so it says here, this is a quick review from la- of last year. I'll quickly read this out here. Um, what does it say there? So it says here, Victoria Park has been at the center of London's festival lineup. Uh, last autumn, AEG a- presents uh, secured the rights to host events at the East London spot in a deal with Tower Hamlets Council. This forced out London's field day. Okay, cool. And field has gone somewhere else now. And Love Box, which is true, uh, which have called the park home for the last 10 years. In the midst of this, Golden Voice, which is owned by AEG and runs Coachella, introduced All Points East. Its corporate, repu- its corporate reputation precedes it, and corporate it was. 
on site there was almost always a brand logo in your in your eye line brand effect brand activation boost all over the grounds though it was unclear what any of them involved samsung even managed to place an obnoxiously bright viewing booth in a perfect spot to ruin everyone's instagrams of the lightning storm looming over bjork's ephemeral closing set all points east did little to promote it, a personality but its bookings made a statement so again uh, a corporate festival um maybe ben benign by fucking branding everywhere but you know the stages the acts themselves are going to carry it which is you know what you saw in the lineup that i mentioned previously uh the 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 all points the 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 lineup which spanned uh dance hip-hop indie pop with electronic thread uh running throughout had a strong gender balance i not i don't really care about that to be honest i want the best people to perform i don't care what is between their legs um the most festival similar lineups headliners lcd sound system the xx bjork made sense next to each other um uh, next to each other on the lineup but the mix of lord yeah yes yeah, bex dixon justice Sampha, and phoenix and john father mercy felt a bit jumbled if it's still enticing effort to make everyone happy the small but that was the first one again i mean you kind of have to come with the big guns the first one so i wouldn't get too finicky on that the small type face names proved to be most interesting including omar s popcorn uh khalil honey school super shanty at least yaji and mr g it's and it's interesting you know right they talk about gender balance and then they mention popcorn hmm not the most uh <laughs> he's not i wouldn't say he's mr feminist is he <laughs> but hey what do i know um yeah so that looked really cool so that was last year's festival some couple of pictures from the event in victoria park which i quite think it's a cool site um that's the last love box i went to actually the one in victoria park or um, a couple of love boxes but ago um Let's scroll down to the bottom and see what their review said of it overall. There's Bjork performing, beautiful, beautiful woman, great costume or dress. Anyway, um, what does it say? What's the last sentence here? Nah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, all points it looks like a good festival. People want to go. It looks great. Um, it's coming up this year. What's the, what's the dates for all points? It is. 24th to 2nd of june so a span of across two weekends um most people during the summer most office work um, most office places that aren't um you know that aren't up their own asses are usually going to be open to giving people the opportunity to leave the office a bit early um on a friday so if you can go can book a ticket ahead of time get 100 quid it's victoria park you know you can go there you can pre-drink before um hang out see a band see a couple of bands for 100 quid which is nothing really considering the drake tickets that sold out recently were like 110 pounds or something like that right um or 80 no i think 80 pounds and up so um, it's well worth the money if you want to go see those things of course seeing drake um the performance is going to be awesome but i'm just saying in terms of general it's quite cool to go see these people all under one roof